Hey, I think it's time that we have our Halloween party. What do you think? I think that sounds okay. Sounds okay? It sounds okay. Well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> peeps and welcome to another episode of our haunted travels let's talk paranormal live i am your host sean donnelly and i'm your co-host marianne donnelly that's right tonight is our halloween party sound effects <sighs> don't have sound effects i keep <laughs> saying that sound every week effects yeah <laughs> how's everyone doing today hope you're having a great 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 weekend let's get rolling shall we so like we like what we like to do in the beginning of these is have everyone leave a comment and let us know where you are from in the chat while the notifications are going out and people are getting woke up from the saturday evening slumber and coming and joining us <laughs> okay so go ahead and check in and let us know where you're from. And while you're doing that, we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping and get things rolling here. So are you ready to help me, my dear? I see you're typing. But why don't you go over the show supporters for tonight, shall you? All right. So today we have Crash Palace, PSPR, Erie, Pennsylvania. Which is PSPR Paranormal pursuit correct and yt army gamers so i'm assuming that's youtube army gamers so those are our uh ones that tweet us out the most and then of course we have our sponsors from patreon that are five dollar or more a month sponsors john is out there and be you be unique all right so tell them i think you already covered it but tell them how you can become <laughs> a supporter it still says producer i was going to do that earlier and i got Sidetracked again. Side uh, so you can become a supporter by following us on Twitter, re-liking, retweeting, and commenting on our posts, and being in the top three for that week. That will get you in there. Or you can be a $5 a month or more Patreon supporter. That's how you do it. That's how you become a show supporter exactly thank you very much you're welcome all right this is a live show so i do apologize ahead of time for making mistake but marianne's main job here is besides handling chat is to correct me when i make a mistake and you do do that well i do i'm really good at that yes you do <laughs> if you are new to our channel please go ahead tickle that little subscribe button and lick the bell or whatever you want to do i don't lick care the bell. some people say lick some people say smash whatever <laughs> <sighs> Okay, well, all right yeah. so everyone who's checking in here please share this out let's get some more people to the party and we'll get things rolling here in a second so bring a friend bring a friend all right all right that sounds good all right so for those of you who don't know who we are do you want to tell them no but that's like the fourth week in a row that you don't but tell. you're so good good at it you're just so much better all right well anyways at the beginning of the show like i said i am sean donnelly and this is my partner in just about everything in life marianne donnelly <laughs> we are the owners of panicd.com and darkshadowghosttours.com and panicd.com is it that's right so see? that's who we are see you you handle that so well <laughs> <laughs> all right anyways we are in a little bit of a hiatus as far as our regular videos and season two i think we've came to a consensus will be starting after thanksgiving yes mm -hmm. the week after thanksgiving yes so, we're gonna do some little things in, in between but as far as an actual uh location video yeah, our again, regular our, our regular schedule video. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and do that. In yeah, we'll start up season two. Right. So our one-year anniversary is November 11th, Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. for the Our Haunted Travels portion of the Yeah, our channel's been YouTube. around since yeah. 2000. 
10, but our haunted travels, November 11th, a year ago, we yes. started. Yes. So I think we've covered 36 out of the over 200 locations. So. And we literally started that on our trip, on my biology trip. Yeah, in St. Louis. In the, yep, in the hotel room after we had gone and visited uh, Lincoln's tomb. And we said, we're going to forget half this stuff. Let's just do this now. Yeah, let's just do it now. And that's how it ha how it came to uh, That's how we fruition. got tied up into this <laughs> thing we call YouTube. Yep. All right, we ready to do a roll call? Sure, let's go All right, ahead. if you have not commented in chat yet, please do or so. Or if you Mary haven't done it in a while, please make sure. Do the roll call. That's right. So we have Budget Bushcraft, HSFL Paranormal, Inspired John, Joy Stewart, Kelly Reynolds, Michael Fayer Jr., Nature Nerd Outdoors, Susan's Creative, T-Town Mary Ellen, TWG7. And I know that there is probably somebody who has dropped off that list already from the well, very Well, that's how I roll. That's how I roll. Yeah, they said their phone was dying, but they were watching us yes. on the TV. So. Yes. Uh, I don't know if I said Nature Nerd Outdoors. Uh, they were here earlier as well. So, All right. So let's talk about parapeeps because I think, wow, we just got a spike on the microphone that went, um, I think we might work on these. And Tammy M. Tammy M. has said hello, hello, hello again. Hello, hello, Yes, she was on earlier. I knew there was somebody else who was there who had dropped off that list. So thanks for saying hi. Yes. Thank you, everybody, yes. for sharing this out. I appreciate that very much because that whole notification thing, you never know. But anyways, let's talk about parapeeps just for a second. Okay, go ahead. All right. So we're going to get caught up on parapeeps, and then I go, I want to talk about something else, okay, with it, with parapeeps, but something I'm working on, especially with Season 2. Anyways, normally when we do this show, I guess I can go back to me. Normally when we do this show, we do a giveaway. But since we got the big clue tube giveaway coming up and the big giveaway from last, we haven't been doing that every week. So right. we'll start that back up probably mid-November, I would assume, um, and start doing that. And in order to enter into our giveaways, like we do a t-shirt or traveling boards or one of our books or something, uh, you basically have to show us proof that you subscribe and hit the bell. Mm -hmm. Well, we started a program well, a long time ago called... Uh, certified parapeeps where you do that ahead of time and basically you just subscribe to our channel hit the bell like one of our videos which hopefully everybody is doing now so you've already done that and uh leave us a comment and then um take a screenshot of that and email it to panicdvideos at gmail.com and when you do that we'll send you back a certificate that looks like that just says you are a certified parapeeps and that way we get your contact information and things like that as well all right, I do have a question for everyone out in the chat. Is there is the audio okay? Because every once in a while I see the Yeti microphone spiking. Are you getting anything weird on the audio? I don't know, but uh, we have uh, ATGH Travels who is here in the house. And also uh, We Are the Newmans have joined us. And Joy Stewart says that somebody told her that the like button tastes like chicken. Oh, good to know. <laughs> there, it spiked again. Are you guys getting They say like, audio is great. Yes, I can hear you fine. All right. Uh, you know, something's going on with this computer. Okay. Figures. <laughs> it's always got to be something wrong. But, uh, That's right. All right. Well, as long as the audio is fine. We're as long keep as it going. doesn't hurt you. Yeah. Don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> um, would you do me a favor real quick and run out and grab my notebook? Which is... I, it's out in the living room somewhere. Okay. I went out there three times to grab that. Okay. So, just some of the announcements. I'm going off the top of my head because I have them written down in my notebook that Marianne's grabbing. Uh, Clue tube. It's coming to an end, <laughs> sadly. Uh, but the uh, deadline to register, uh, if you think you know the message and where Timothy Petalcoat may be, the deadline for that is Tuesday at 8, 8 p.m. We have how many entries? 10. Only 10 entries Only so far. 10. Only 10. And a lot more people have watched those videos than 10. That's all I have to say about a that. A lot of people watch those videos. So anyways, I just want to throw that out there. Tuesday, 8 p.m. is going to be a deadline because Wednesday we are going live at 8 p.m. to do the reveal. 
and tell you where he's at and wrap everything up and then tell you where the clues were. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing with ClueTube, too. If you are following us on Twitter, starting tonight, I heard a rumor. What? A rumor? Detective Slow somehow got a hold of our Twitter account. No. He's going to be tweeting out D- updates. Like, Detective Slow could figure anything out uh, anyway. Maybe Jacob's doing it. Oh, okay. Maybe, we'll you, maybe Jacob will help him. You're right. We'll see what happens. Or maybe they got Nancy because, you know, she is <laughs> mandated to do some extra work. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> um, but I want to talk about our Patreon page just for a second. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be using our Patreon page more like a blog as well. Okay? I already started putting out a couple things on there uh, discussing and asking some questions about Season 2 for us. You can actually follow our Patreon page without paying the monthly, you know, whatever. You can just follow us. And for some reason, Nightbot has not come out yet, has he? He's been out once to uh, remind everyone about ClueTube. Really? Okay. I saw him. Um, But would you like the Patreon? Yeah. If you could post the Patreon. Because you could follow us on Patreon, you know, but don't have to monetarily um, support us, which is okay, because we're going to start putting videos out for the monetary support. But um, if you follow along, when I, when we, because I'm going to train Marianne too to be posting stuff, Discord didn't kind of work out for us that, that great. So we're going to use the Patreon page kind of like a blog. Um, and post some of those links and stuff we were supposed to do in, in Patreon. Or, I'm sorry, in Discord on our Patreon page. Right. So, I just want to let you know that. And everyone who's um, registered to be Parapeeps, I have your email. So, I'm going to send out a couple of emails just saying, you know, follow us on Patreon so that you can see that information. So, all right. I think I just covered all the announcements. Season 2 starts after Thanksgiving. Now, in November, we're going to be having some specials basically come out. Some special videos. Yes. Um, yes. We're doing one on anniversary date or on certain dates. So, like November 19th, the Gettysburg Address. Yes. We have a really cool video. I've already started working on that. Um, next weekend, we're going to be talking about, I think we might be talking about the Kennedy curse. November 3rd is the anniversary of the JFK assassination. So next week here on Let's Talk Paranormal, we might be talking about the Kennedy curse. Then the following week we're traveling. So we'll be live from, from San, Diego. San Diego. Somewhere in San Diego. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so we have a couple specials uh, coming out, just not the weekly right. location. Videos. Right. So. So, We're not going away completely. No, no. Just slowing down a little bit, and yes. then we'll, we'll hit it hard with uh, Season 2. Yes. So Summer Bishop is here. Timber Hill Redbones it has joined us. Uh, uh, somebody else. Oh, I get lost. Heavy Metal Magnet has joined us as well tonight. All right. Uh, so it's nice to see you guys again. And... Uh, I was mentioning to Michael uh, Fair that my mom thought that his show was hilarious today. Yeah. Uh, so I made sure that I let him know that since he was here. And I wasn't sure what whether when I was out of the room, if you guys mentioned something weird, because Michael also put in there an 11 with a question mark. So I didn't know what that was about. Do you know what that one was about? No. No? Okay. Oh, 11th. November 11th. Veterans Day. Oh, that's our okay. one year anniversary for our haunted gotcha. child. Okay. Maybe that's what Maybe it was. Maybe that's what it was. Okay. 11-11. Uh, okay. 11-11. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, so the trips has joined in as well. So welcome to the trips. We come a long way. You know, I'm not bragging. Don't ever take me as bragging, but I think we've come a long way in a year. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm learning, folks. I've said that. I went back and I was watching some of the Let's Talk Paranormal, <laughs> like some of the first ones I was rolling. I'm like, I'm learning, folks. Please bear with me. Still learning. YouTube's a learning experience. And that's what makes it fun for us because we're always like trying to learn something. I just wish there were more hours in the day because there's so much to it. Yeah. Plus, Plus that we have the regular Panic D stuff and then life. Right. 
Plus, even the alive. regular, even the regular videos, I have to say, have gotten a lot better too. Because the very first one that we were talking about being wasn't our anniversary one, right. <laughs> we just set the camera up in the hotel room, and you, uh, you said, "Oh, don't worry about it. You can have your notes there. You can just, you know, read from your notes. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll put pictures over you." I he didn't. didn't. I didn't. So I just look like a moron just sitting there reading my notes because I'm like, well, he said he was going to put his pictures over it, so I may as well just read it. And I'm like, because <laughs> yeah. most of the time I don't need them, but we had just gone there and just heard some of that stuff, and I, I wasn't like right in there yet. And he promised me he would make it. Better well, you have to show progress. <laughs> All right, I'm oh, really, goodness. I'm really worried about that Yeti thing spiking like that. But it, it's, as long it's as it's fine. okay, nobody we're good. here, All nobody right. here is b- bothering, worried about that. Butch, Bushcraft though says, who needs that life thing? That what? That life thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who cares? But whatever. I want to do some shout outs. The trip says that they just put a spooky tour video on for Halloween. If we're interested, who? so the trips. I don't know that I know that channel. The trips, do me a favor. When this is done, please come back and leave that in the comments section, uh, so, so I it I can it'll I'll Jog see it and I can go and look visit. at it. That would be awesome. Just say, hey, I told you about my video. That's all you got to do, and that'll remind me. All right, so I want to do some shout outs. All okay. right, shout outs. I need a video for that, but I don't have one. So these are community shout outs. It's a little section that uh, we'll we'll be having. We we did it, and then, then it went away, and now I'm bringing it back because I like doing these. Uh, some things I want to mention um, about the community. Uh, TWG7 actually put out a premiere today. You didn't watch it. I was going to show you that one. No, I was at ACT all day. I was rolling. You have <laughs> to go and watch it. It's the one that she put out today, and I, I'm sorry I didn't write down the title. I think she's in here. She is, she she is in, in here? here. Yes. You have to go watch it. I'm not going to give it away, but right in the center of it, it's hilarious. <laughs> you have to go watch it. Um, Michael uh, Michael Fire Jr. put out a premiere um, just a little bit ago. He drove a Lamborghini. You have to go and see that one. I was, like, on edge watching it. Actually, I was watching it here, and I'm like, go, 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 go. That, that's, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, Happy Trails Hiking did a premiere. It's just a car. Oh, no, shut up. <laughs> It was a Lamborghini. <laughs> Happy Trails Hiking did a premiere, too. And the she owls. had... Oh, see, she's more excited about the owls. But she had Sorry. the... The naturalist was actually in the Lamborghini chat. Lamborghini owls. <laughs> the naturalist Sorry, was in the chat during yeah, the premiere. that was awesome. So that was really cool. And then the... the uh, another one I want to say. Joy Stewart. She, you said she was here, right? Yes, she is. Yeah. She says to tell everybody who Boris is. Okay. The new people. We'll tell yeah. you about Boris. Um, but Joy... Congratulations on a thousand subscribers! Yes. I watched your video today. Marianne watched it too. That was the best one thousand subscriber shout out. I mean, it was it was perfect. Congratulations! Very heartfelt. If you haven't seen that, folks, please go and watch it because it was. I'm I'm getting emotional talking about it. So that was that was very cool. Um, The links to these videos that I'm talking about, by the way, are down in the description of this. Uh, I have two more I want to talk about. Susan's Creative. These are Halloween shout-outs I want to mention. Ooh, Halloween. Yeah. Susan's Creative has been doing uh, some stuff on her channel about making making costumes. And it's, it's some pretty awesome stuff, like even like how to make the props and things like that. Really I highly love props. Yeah, I highly recommend you go and check them out. I put a link to her channel, not to the specific video, because there's there's multiple videos that she did. She did one on a Fortnite costume too, so that that's actually pretty cool stuff. What? What's really funny is my kids were talking about you know Halloween and if they're going to dress up or not that kind of thing, mm-hmm. and one of the kids said. If anybody comes to my house in a Fortnite costume, I'm just going to slam the door in their face. <laughs> nice. And that was uh, a teenager. <laughs> nice. Um, and then Out of Body has been doing the 31 days of uh, October yes. Halloween yeah. stuff. Awesome stuff. Talking about every day things in, in Memphis and, uh, you know, some other creepy pasta things. So the links to those channels are down in the description. Yes, they so are. So please... Take a moment and go check them out, especially if you're into the Halloween paranormal kind of stuff. Yeah. 
Yes. All righty. So there's my shout out. So, All right. Go ahead. They want to know who, who Boris is. Well, you tell them. I've been talking all along. This guy is Boris back here. He's our buddy. He's our mascot. And uh, he's going to he's gonna do a little something, something well, here today. I didn't today. tell him that. He's going to do a little something, something here today. I was going to tell you guys, if you shared this out and got 20 people in the watching this video, hey. that we would have it. I know. <laughs> There's 20 here. I know. <laughs> If you got 20 people watching this, we have a special dance video for, for from Boris. But you guys already hit that, so we're just going to play it here in a little bit. So so Boris is, is we got another Boris dance video. Anyways, Boris is the alter ego, so to speak, that does our ghost stories and folklore, too. So when you ever watch those, they come on on Tuesday, you're like, what is this weird voice? It's actually Boris. That's Boris. We haven't built a backstory yet, but then again, I'm going to I'm going to go back to the Patreon page because guess what? If you follow us on Patreon, you don't have to be a paid member on Patreon. We're going to work together and create Boris's backstory. We do know that he has some sort of family problem that in some yes. woods. We that, do know that. That has come out. There's yes. there's some family problems, but you follow us on our Patreon, we're going to work together and create his backstory. The name, Boris, actually was named by our fans on Twitter. Because yeah. I posted out there, what do you want to call this guy? Our pair of peeps chose. The pair of peeps named him Boris. So we're going to put together a story. All right. Boris <laughs> said he's feeling empty today. Feeling feeling a little peaked? peaked? He, told, he told Heavy Metal Magnet that already today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So like I said earlier, we're working on Season 2, laying stuff out. Um, we're kind of like in the planning stages, brainstorming a little bit. If anybody would ever want to collab with us, ever, please get a hold of us on Twitter about anything. It doesn't matter. I mean, we've done collabs with, you don't have to be paranormal related to do a collab with Absolutely us. Absolutely not. And I'm going to bring this other screen up that has our Twitter flashing. We actually Maybe. just did a collab with 23 different Collab, uh, collaborators, yeah. uh, different YouTube channels, and uh, most of them were not paranormal related. That's right. We'll figure out a way to do it. Mm -hmm. We've done collabs with Doodles by Doug. We've done collabs with uh, Crip Six. We've done collabs Michael with Fair Michael Jr. Farrow Jr. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure out a way to put some kind of location spin on it. That's or right. Something. Absolutely. Uh, I lost a... Pusha Studios has joined. Hey guys, can't interact, but you're listening. Oh, that's all right. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, the trips said that uh, they have uh, thanked or oh, this, they're, they, never mind. I messed up there. It wasn't them. Uh, ATJH wants to know what your favorite Halloween candy is. Favorite Halloween candy? I don't know. Anything chocolate. As long as it's not dark chocolate i think yes what about you i i kind of like eating the twix bars because i eat i i chew off the caramel part and then i eat the cookie yeah. separate she's weird when it comes I to do. eating habits <laughs> what about you guys in chat what's your favorite halloween candy that's a good question to ask the chat let's hear what what say you out there in the in the chat i think that maybe joy might think uh anything that's on sale after halloween that's it says atjh all on sale day after halloween so does that mean whatever's on there sale whatever's left over sometimes sometimes it's interesting though the things that are left over are actually the things that like the adults like yeah <laughs> yeah are you ready for atjh says reese's pieces and clerk bar mm. yes Butterfingers, that's Butter how I fingers. roll. Wonder, Wonder bar. bar. Dark chocolate M and M M M M N three Musketeers. Oh, it's supposed to be mmm, I think. Dark chocolate, mmm, and three musketeers from Timber Hill Redbones. Got it. Uh Tammy says Milky Way is the best Halloween candy. The trip says, not sure if it counts. But I just tried M&M's chocolate bars for the first time, and they rock. M&M's chocolate bars. Ooh, that sounds... You guys are making me hungry. I know. We might have to, like, go into the candy I that know. I put in the living room for I the, we'll the trick-or-treaters. I just Wednesday. bought all that candy. <laughs> 
All right, so we're going to do this and get this out of the way. It's time for Marianne's eBay update. <laughs> this is kind of Halloween related. Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. It's Sean's Halloween present continuing. Egon came home today. That's right. <laughs> So that makes all three. We That's got right. all three of them. So all three of the guys will be hanging out together this Halloween. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> so Egon is the uh, eBay purchase of the week. <laughs> he came in today, as a matter of fact, while I was at ACT. And when I called on my way home, Sean's like, you got a box today. <laughs> yeah. Again, and box. I'm like, oh, that's yours. You can open that. That's your present. And he's like, what? I'm like, it should be Egon. <laughs> I got a note saying Egon would be there today. So, Egon. Barrow, <laughs> Barrow Boy Woods. Hello. I'm going to pop out chat so I can see it here. All right. Trisha's journal says, now I want chocolate. Right. Okay, so let's move on to our show. Let's see, we did that in 26 minutes. A little <laughs> long. That's okay. That's all right. It's always about that same length. It's okay. Yeah. All right, so. What do you got next on the list there? I don't know. This is the point where I was laying this out, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. We're just going <laughs> to wing it from this point on. Um I want to talk about Halloween parties. This is supposed to be our Halloween party. Okay. So I want to talk about Halloween parties. Okay. We've done some great Halloween parties in the past. We've had some Halloween parties. Yeah. But we've now given them up to my sister-in-law. Yeah. Because she decided she really likes Halloween, so we said fine. Yeah. We'll go We'll go Halloween and, and do something at a haunted location or something, mm -hmm. and you can have the house. That's a question that we were going to ask. I yep. think we have some paranormal people in here. Some people. Has anybody gone ghost hunting on Halloween night? We have. We have. How many times? On Halloween night itself? Just twice, I think. Twice on All Hallows' Eve. Right. We've gone yeah. paranormal investigating. Yeah. The most recent one that I can remember was Hillview Manor. Mm -hmm. We did that after a Halloween party. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we did a Halloween party there, followed by a ghost hunt that night. We we rocked that place that yeah, night. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that we did. So the trip says yes. Where'd you go, the trips? Uh, and uh, they want to know what our favorite Halloween song is. I guess I would have to go with Thriller because. That's like the go with thriller. You know, the Halloween song, right? That's right. All right, so let me bring this up and show you guys. Although there is that one I do like. Um <clears throat> It's not the Monster Mash. Well, there's Werewolves of London. Werewolves of London, I really uh, like that one too. I'm drawing a blank too. We did the Monster yeah. Mash, the you, you, um the um the one from uh the time zone from um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. So some of these parties that we put on, like you see that picture right there. Um, Burlington, or Ontario, actually DJ and them. a graveyard in high school. What's that? We went Where to a places, graveyard in high school. Yes, there was one that said that they did a ghost hunt in Burlington, Ontario on Halloween. And then another one uh, did a graveyard. Oh, jeez. Oh, you see that's what that's how I roll? roll? Went into labor on Halloween. Oh, my. Wow. Well, happy, tell him happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> His wife was a clown. <laughs> so some of these pictures that are up here on the screen right now, uh, we'll talk about them a little bit. Um, this was a party. That was a party that we put on in uh, Pioneer Pavilion that we haven't done that location yet. But that one is a party that we put on here where it was a murder mystery dinner night. Yes, right? yes. Yeah, so people come dressed as characters. Um, yeah, we had uh, all different movie characters. And that was a crime scene right there. Yes. I think that was my character. I played the, the dude that got knocked off. Yes, you did. This was a party at uh, 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 your brother's where yes. we went as crowns and a crown, <laughs> crown box and a crown. Mm -hmm. And then one year we went as bacon and eggs. 
Yeah, those <laughs> ones were purchased costumes. Yeah. But. yeah. Now that right there, Marianne wrapped up. When we put on these parties, sometimes we have games. Yes. Uh, you know, like we'll do a, a costume party or a costume contest. And I didn't put the picture in here, the uh, pumpkin carving contest and, and oh, yes. stuff like that. That there where they have the balloon tied to their foot, that's one of the games where they you have know, to smash you have the to, balloon. You have to smash others' balloons and protect yours. Yeah. And you can see right there, you have the trophies lined up. I think those were for the different contests where right. we did the giveaway. Yep. Michael says, it's DJ Sean. That, that picture right there of. Uh, that's this costume. That's Glenn the right Ghost. There. Yep. Yeah, the one that's back here. That's Marianne in that costume. There's the trophies. <clears throat> yeah, we do, I, I DJ them and play Halloween music. Now, that, that right there is actually a contest, too, that we do, too. See the gloves that she's wearing? Yeah. We play. Uh, <laughs> We play a song and you have to go up and unwrap Hershey Kisses and who, whatever side does it the quickest actually wins yeah, a trophy. Yeah, the ones so. that can open and eat the most Hershey Kisses in the same amount of time. Yeah. Wins. Yes. I think we circled back around. All unapologetically, Gomez says they're headed out. Thank you very much for Thank joining us. Thank you for us. stopping. And Trisha's journal says it sounds that sounds like fun. Now, when we put on a party, you know, one of the big things you got to worry about is the food. Oh, absolutely. The food makes or breaks these parties, you know. That's right. So I have a quick little video. It's about a minute, maybe almost two minutes to show you some of the food that Marianne's <laughs> done. TWG7 says, I was going to say, you do have them to eat. That's right. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to play this video. Hopefully everything's working right. And then uh, we'll be back. And uh, you can see some of the food that Marianne's done for these parties. So Just a little sampling. We'll be right back. Some of the food there, but you didn't have quite really good shots of my punch bowls and things like that. But I always either put a, a, hand, a glove and fill it with water and put that in the freezer and have a, a hand that I have floating in there. Or uh, I have uh, little ping pong balls with eyeballs with painted eyeballs. on them and thrown in there. So it looks like it's all floating in, in eyeballs. That one thing that was like gray looking. With the, the brain. Yeah, that was a brain. But it was, it was a, a tuna. It was a tuna mold. Tuna yeah, mold. I took a brain mold for a ju brain jello mold, and I filled it with my my tuna spread, and I chilled that and took that out and put a little ketchup on top. Yeah. So you had the finger cookies. Finger too. cookies. My graves. I really like my graves. I I have a. a a Wilton tip actually that makes grass and so I just kind of did that on those and I did the little square ones and put little 
little cutesy little tombstones in there. Yeah. yeah. And then you had the bat wings. Bat wings. I remember you making the bat wings. They you were, were freaking just... out. You couldn't get them black enough. Yeah. yeah. Bat wings, vampire <clears throat> wings. Uh, I made bat fries, too. So, like, I took a cookie cutter and I, and I cut the potatoes into um, little uh, thin sheets, you know, mm-hmm. on the... On the uh, Gosh, I can't think of what Greater. it's called. Yeah, the but slicer. it's the, the slicer. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, all I can think of is Moulinex, but that that's a name brand of. <laughs> but anyhow, um, and then I cut them with the cookie cutter, and then I fried them in the deep fryer. They were so cute. They were good too. Yeah, I yeah, remember that. They were delicious. Yeah, they were good. And then we did one. Uh, I think it was that one party. Was it the Halloween party or was it another time we were down at Pioneer and we did baked potatoes? That was at the Halloween party. That's was what was Halloween? in that big that roaster that, that you roaster? saw. Yeah. So, yeah, we did because we were, you know, what do you do all the time? Pizza and this and that. So we did baked potatoes. <laughs> Huge baked potatoes. Oh my gosh, I was we had making so them in the potatoes. oven here. Baked potatoes. And then there we had like different uh, toppings you could put on your baked potatoes. And that was, <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was fun. Yeah, so I think mom is mom here. She was a little bit. She ago. was here that night and helping me with um, sloppy joes and baked potatoes, and we had soup and yeah. Yeah, we had all kinds of so. soups. Yeah, uh, Joyce Stewart said that was a mandolin, Marion. Yeah, that's that's the word I couldn't think yeah. of. Yeah, I used to work gourmet kitchenware sales. You'd never believe it, but yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, the slicey thing. <laughs> oh, oh well. But Irish whiskey has joined us. So, what about your some of you guys putting on parties? Do you have like special Halloween parties or anything that you do like that? Any special foods or anything you prepare? I mean, we've talked about costumes. We talked about um, candy. What about costumes? What What are you guys dressing up for? Ooh, are you dressing are up you for dressing Halloween? Up for what Halloween? are you dressing up as? I did put out those uh, things on Twitter, and I forgot to go and pull them today. I did some polls out on Twitter. There were a couple of them that we had written down before. Is there? Let me look. In that special notebook of yours. So go ahead and chat while I uh, look Nobody's telling me what they're going to dress up as for Halloween. Unless Irish Whiskey is saying he's going to dress up as me because he did say my name. <laughs> Maybe he's going to be me. <laughs> You're not finding that as amusing. You're too, no, too hard I, reading. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was I was actually reading because I know we did write those down. La, 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 yeah, I'm sure that's the la. wonders for the microphone. Oh, okay. Is that that? No. Questions? Questions. Mm, maybe not. No, nope, definitely not. The Trips says, uh, I was at a Halloween party and a girl made an apple crumble cake that looked just like a cat litter box. Everybody said it would taste good, but I couldn't eat it. <laughs> Budget Bushcraft says that he is attending a party at 8 o'clock p.m. on YouTube. I wonder where that could be. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Joy Stewart says she's wearing a witch's hat and no makeup. <laughs> Heavy Metal Magnet said that he should be Michael Myers as always. Yeah, was he was there. saying on his live stream when I was on there that he dresses up like Michael Myers and walks around and freaks people out. Hmm. We did write that down. Why Michael that Fayer on? Jr. says Nancy no say. <laughs> Michael, I want to see you dressed up with a nice blonde wig. There's so many notes in this thing about clue tube. Yeah? So many. That you lost everything else? I lost everything else. Oh, I'm sorry. I oh, it look. Was before there's that. the answer to clue tube. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not going to show you. No, we wrote them down, too. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought it was in that book, but maybe I was mistaken. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't matter. remember what they were, to be honest with you. I know one of them was, what was your favorite Halloween character? Was it Dracula or Frankenstein or I yeah, forget the third one. Yeah, and Dracula was the uh, number one with like 58% or something like that. 
So we'll ask you guys that. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, who was the fourth one? Um, oh, Cap 7. Thank you very Cap much. Cap 7, you should not do that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it. Um, Thank you for c- have an just awesome having day. you come. Thank just, you. Just enough, but thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate that very much. What was the fourth one? I do not remember. Let's keep it at three. Let's do three. Michael? Dracula, Werewolf, Frankenstein, <laughs> or The Mummy? The Mummy, that's the one. Yes. Monica and I went as The Incredibles one year, <laughs> oh, <laughs> says Michael funny. Fair. Uh, and Heavy Metal Magnet says, Carl, be Carl. Let me tell you, my kids found Carl to be hilarious. <laughs> I was, I, w- my forensic science kids uh, were actually doing some of the YouTube uh, stuff for the Clue Tube. They were analyzing Detective Slow. <laughs> and uh, so they were watching a few of the other, uh, the videos, trying to see if they could get all the clues. And, uh, they, they saw Michael, and they're like, oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. What is he so I'm like, he's making fun of your age bracket. <laughs> yeah. Dracula, Dracula Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Dracula, Dracula. See, Dracula right Dracula, there, out of four. Dracula. Yep, they're out of four, 75%, like Dracula best. I love the Bela Lugosi Dracula. Yeah. I think I think there's a little bit of that in Boris, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, might be. Hmm. Might be, where that, might be where that's coming Maybe from. Maybe that's where he's related to somebody. Should mm. Boris be from Transylvania? Ooh. This is the discussion we're going to be having on our, our Patreon. Heavy so. Metal Magnet says Wolf the Werewolf. Yeah, he was. Definitely. <laughs> Michael yeah. Fair Jr. says Carl needs his own channel, I think. <laughs> the Carl channel. <laughs> the lazy just, vlogger. Yeah, Carl the lazy loved. vlogger. C for Carl. <laughs> See for Carl. <laughs> All right, folks, we have 21 in here watching now. So here's what we're going to do. Cast one, one fish. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to play. I mean, Boris wants, he made a video He's for you guys. He's been dying to show you. We're going to play that video. And when we come back, we're going to talk about ClueTube. And we might have some special guests. So that's what we're going to do. You guys got us over 20. I was going to say, if you get us over 20, we're going to have Boris dance. Okay. But, um, uh, Irish whiskey says, "I know who took the gold. Where to submit?" So we'll that's talk in... about that when we get back. Okay. Okay. Hang tight. Hang Hold... tight. We'll talk about that when Hold we get back. Hold that thought. All right. Don't let us forget it either.
Well, howdy, folks. This here is Detective I Am Slow, and I brought my uh, assistant, so to speak, onto the live stream in case you all had some questions about this here clue tube going on. Yes, I'm Nancy Nessie, I'm formerly of Channel 8 News. Formally, formally. They kind of fired me when I got arrested and all. Well, you know what? I, I got a question for you. Who's answering the 911 calls back there at the... You made me come with you. Oh, well, we won't be long here, folks, because there's nobody back there manning <laughs> the phones. I don't know why you must insist that all I do is go ahead and answer them phones. I'm sure there's something better I can do, like going out and finding this man. Well, I think... I think I'm pretty close to knowing exactly where he's at. Now, like like that there fellow there from Panic D Videos was saying, I took over, I sequestered, I sequestered their Twitter account. And I'm going to be posting out some updates. So you want to make sure that you're following along. And if you guys know where it's at, I'm going to be putting that link too out on their Twitter account as well. I think you, you should submit. just tell me. Well, it ain't going to help you, any. It could. No, it's not. We're going to save this time. We have until Wednesday to get this here gold back. And I think I know where he's at. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty certain but that I, did, I know where he's at. But I did hear that you were thinking about giving a reward and all. That's right. That's right. Like some of these gold flakes you found. That's right. Now, we had 10 of you folks out there already submitted... That information already submitted out that information, but it doesn't match up. Not all of them match up with my notes, so you're going to want to make sure that you get that pretty pretty accurate. Actually. And you've been flying around all over the place trying right. to find out. That's right. Where I've been everywhere. Is. I had to get me here one of them uh, passports because I went around all of you YouTubers out there. And I was getting some questions. Look at all these here stamps. Well, I'll show you. Here's my passport. I got my passport right there. And uh, I got all these stamps, all these places that I went to. I called a lot of you on the phone, but I had to go see some in person. But uh, I'm going to be talking to the city council to see, since the sheriff, we don't know where he's at and what happened to him, but to see if I could funnel some of that bingo money to kind of get reimbursed for this here passport <laughs> because this is not... This wasn't wasn't cheap, and uh, you know we don't have a lot of money down at the department. So, you know, um, you could have taken me on the trip. Oh, I could barely afford this one. How am I going to afford two? I'm sure that there would be something you I could, can you do. You could try not being such a gold digger and so nibby, but we'll see what happens. Now, do y'all have any questions for me while I'm on here? Got to watch her 24-7. Well, they said that, that you should tell me, you know, because then I would tell them. So You know how to work that there thing? A little bit. Do you do you know the link to where they could submit their, their stuff? You could post it there well, in I, the chat? I don't have that exact one, but I do have the... Um, the, Halloween. There, that thing, that playlist there. Like I know playlist. there's a, there's a video in there. I, it it kind of tells you how to submit to... Uh, it's the last one. Isn't it? Oh, no, one before the last. I, I don't know. Jacob knows, and he's out uh, He's out in the car. Uh, I don't know what he's doing out there. <laughs> that boy I can't so believe funny. he drove us here in that, that their demolition derby car. That was, that was a know. fright and a half right there, but we made it. We got here. I know. It's like you're trying to like you go flying down the freeway with no windshield. It, it was it was insane. It was insane, but we made it here. Oh, Benjamin Chavez says it's nice to see us. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm well, I have this feeling that that we are losing subscribers while we see. <laughs> you mean for that Panic D people? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 
But you know, there is going to be that Halloween contest down in town. Starts at 5.30 p.m. And you know, Bubba, he's doing much better with that whole finger thing. And that that Piggly Wiggly sale, let me tell you, they sold so many chickens. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. But I'm telling you, you found all kinds of cool things. When you was in his house, you know, I went in there, too. Of course, you all know that. You know that, of course, because that's how you got me to be your assistant. You caught me. But it, I don't know how he caught me. He's so slow, but he still managed to figure out it was me. But anyways, um, you figured out that there were some, like, clues in his house. I thought that it was just terrible taste in art. All those word thingies you kept finding. When you brought that FBI guy in, you figured out that it was supposed to sell something out. And then all them YouTube people that you were talking to, they all got some of them same type of messages. I think I think they know all this already. Do you have any have any new information that you could share with them? I think that some of those YouTube people were lying out of their teeth. Some of them said that the others knew stuff, and then they didn't say they knew anything. So you're saying you can't trust everything that you think that you know in this mystery. You can't trust it all. you got to sit there and think and piece it together. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Kind of a little bit. But, you know, you can always trust me, Nancy that's, No Say. That's a good tip. I'm going to have to go look that up in one of them there books. I was uh, reading in them there books when you had me answering the phone. I saw that video. I saw that. Yeah. It had some good stuff in there. You definitely should look into that book because you definitely well, you still have some problems. you could have highlighted it for me. You didn't tell me to do that. You told me to answer the phone. <clears throat> so I answered the phone. Are we getting any questions? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm still connected with you too, gold or not gold. <clears throat> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, heavy metal magnets gotta run. They're going to their family's house for a party. Hey, let me know where it's at. Nancy no say lost a party. So Benjamin Chavez wants to know. If you're from the South. Well, I'm from Donley Land, of course. From where? Donley Land. Is that in the South? Donley Land is a state. <laughs> this is getting bad. <laughs> uh. So, do you have any questions for the good detective? Or me, Nancy No Say? You are those, like, little kissy things. <clears throat> Although, I have to say, you're not as annoying as you were a few weeks ago. Kind of growing on me a little. <laughs> oh, man. Well, mm -hmm. at this point, I'm out of show. <laughs> I definitely like this gold flag stuff. I'm sure the neighbors are going, what? going on over there i have the window open so if they figure this whole thing out what are they gonna get i because they'll save our town and that's like prime thing well, that's the most important thing I they're gonna we're thought, gonna get i thought the one lady said that they're gonna get five of those did you find enough gold for five or six of oh, these there's there's plenty enough shavings there there Okay, and and there was going to be some sort of gift cards or gift certificates or yeah. something as well. Yeah, if they get the message correct, uh -huh. they're entered for a drawing for a twenty-five dollar Amazon. I think it's Amazon. Amazon. Uh -huh. I, th I think it's an Amazon card. And then if they guess where he's at, uh -huh. they're entered for a drawing for another twenty-five dollar Amazon card and five of them there vials of gold flakes. <laughs> I see. So Susan's Creatives actually has a question for me. Nancy no say. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, she wants to know where I first got inspired to solve mysteries. Was it from the Hardy Boys? Well, certainly not the Hardy Boys. Nancy Drew. <laughs> what? 
What? Why are you looking at me like that? Well, I was just here thinking that I don't have another video to bring back the other people. <laughs> oh, that could be a problem. That, well, you that know what? That might be a problem. But that's not really that big a problem because, you know, I can just go and see if I find that, that girl from Panic Bay and I'll, I'll, have, I'll send her in. And then, you know, maybe, you know, I can look around and see if I can find that handsome well, think, guy from Panic said, Day as well. I think he said to play Boris again. I think that's what he said there. Was it, was it play Boris dancing? Is that oh, what this means right here? Boris, Boris dancing? Boris dancing? I think dancing he said to Boris? play that again and then we'll get them okay. back here. All right. Well, All bye, right. everybody. It was really nice seeing you. Nancy, no say, signing off from YouTube for the day. They'll think, be right back, I think folks. I'm just going to take this with me. I just like don't understand those people. They are so weird. And you know, I, I Why got don't this you stuff. explain to Hillbilly got, Pyro who's like totally confused as to that what's Nancy, going on right now. That Nancy was trying to steal some gold and everything. It was crazy. Did you see her trying to stick that in her bra strap? Crazy. So you want me to explain that to Hillbilly Pyro? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hey, Hillbilly Pyro, thanks for stopping by. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> we have a big event that we've been doing, a big collab with 23 collaborators this holiday season since October 1st, basically. Uh, and 
It was been called Clue Tube 2018, and two of the main characters that you've been dealing with or seeing in many of the videos were Nancy No Say and Detective I M Slow. <laughs> oh, you said it perfect. So I anyhow, am Detective I <laughs> am Slow. So the first time when we started doing those videos. We had no script. I'm telling you, all along when we made those, we had no script. We wrote the story as we did the videos. And the first, when I did the, we were recording the first one, and I just came out with that name. Marianne was on the other side of the camera, just rolling. And it, and the more I made her laugh, the better the video got. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was hilarious. So we... We do have some outtakes that we're going to put out on our uh, our Patreon page of some of the stuff. You know, most of them are one takes, you know, but some of them we, like the one, uh, <laughs> the one where we're recording, um, I think it was the news update or one of the news update ones where we were on one side of the building. We were yes. trying to record it, and like the people, buses, buses and kept driving by and just looking like, "What's going on?" She had the wig on, and I'm like trying to record her, so we had to go on the other side of the building. My kids the next yeah. day are like, "What were you doing out there?" At first, I saw Mr. Donley, and he was there with some blonde woman, and then I realized the blonde woman was you. <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah, that was hilarious. Uh, well, Joy, thanks for coming. I'm sorry you have to run, but thank you so much for coming. And congratulations on that 1,000 yes, subscribers, Yes, congratulations too. again. Very much so. TWG7 says we're hysterical. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So in case those two odd, weird people didn't really explain it well enough, uh, when you think that you have managed to pull all the clues from all of the collaborator videos. Then what you need to do is make sure you have them in the correct order. And then what you'll do is you'll go into the last video from Nancy No Say, and in the description down there, there is a link to a form. And you will put in your name and your email address. You'll put in the message that you think you got. Uh, you'll put in where you think that we can find this Timothy Petalcoat character. And then submit, and you will be entered to win a $25 gift card if you are correct. Mm -hmm. And there's only now, 28 words. So Right. Now, if you manage to not only get the correct message, but you get the correct location so that we can actually find Timothy Petalcoat, you will be entered to get another additional $25 gift card and some vials of gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that video... Uh, is the one at the very end with Nancy No Say, and she's well, telling you how. Yes, second from the end. Yeah, it's second from the, end. From the, the end. The last one is the thank you to, to all of our collaborators, and the one right before that is the one where you'll find in the description the form for you to fill that out. Yeah. And uh, in there, there's also one question that says, "Hey, which one of these collaborators do you think had the?" the best video that helped you out to solve the case yeah, the most compelling. or was the most creative, the most compelling. So uh, you do get to vote for them as well. And we'll see what we get for that. But somebody's going to walk away with some vials of real gold flakes. So we're going live Halloween night at 8 p.m. And we're going to go over the videos and kind of point out where the clues were and, and that kind of stuff and uh, reveal the answer. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then we'll do the draw drawings. for the winner. Yep. yep. 8 p.m. Eastern, Halloween night. Right. So that's ClueTube. Yes. All month. Yes. So we started working with the collaborators um, just before October. The first video dropped on what, October 3rd? Or was it on October 1st? It was October 1st. 3rd. I think it was the crime took place October 1st. The crime was October 1st, yes. It took such a long time for that great reporter, Nancy Nose, to get out there to like visit the bank. So weird. <laughs> because we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> She's just that good of a reporter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I really wanted and we didn't do um, was I want I thought we should have had a little bit of the actual press conference that Detective Slow made that he was talking about that he was going to do. Well, we could have, but we would have needed know. more actors. That's the have. problem. Yeah. 
that was the problem with it. So, like, how do you do the actors? I mean, we could have did it through video, mm -hmm. you know, somehow. But, you know, hey, it's the first one. Yeah. So. Thinking of others. Nice to meet you. I don't think I know you. So, welcome. <laughs> yes, I did hit the like button, will you? That's hilarious. Uh, I, that reminds, this was uh, Red Ribbon Week at school. Um, it's the um, 23rd through the 31st, actually. Uh, but we did it all week last week at, at school. And uh, I put up uh, all the signature cards that the kids all signed and said that they uh, pledged to be drug free. And, and then I put up this big sign that said, we took the pledge, will you? And so that kind of reminds me of that thinking of others. That was nice. All right, and Hillbilly Crickets. Cairo says, thank you for bringing me up to speed. I got a little warm doing that. I was getting a little... What are you talking about? Oh. Did you, like, yeah. run? What am I talking about? Yeah. Did you run? I was out talking to Jacob. Oh. <laughs> was he telling you all the little things <laughs> that he's been doing? The, he was showing me all the stuff on his car. Oh, yeah. Was it all crashed up or anything? No. No? No, it was fine. Oh, okay. Just didn't have a windshield. Oh, uh, it's amazing. Nancy's hair looked so good then if there was no windshield for that whole ride here. She pulled it off. All right. Well, hey, we have fun. Yeah. Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want to do? I, I'm done with the show. You're we done can with wrap the show? it up unless anybody wants to hang around and talk, have any questions. We can open up now for anything paranormal, any questions that you have. Doesn't matter. Or we could just say good night. Whatever you want to do. It is now, the floor is now open. So if anybody wants to hang around and chat, we will do that. <laughs> so TWG7 said it was so awesome. It was so fun. Hilly B Hillbilly Pyro said I could tell right away you guys have fun with it. And Budget Bushcraft says it was fun until my green screen malfunction. <laughs> yeah, it's still good. It's all right. It's all good. It's okay. You didn't it's have to good. do green screen, but it was fine. It's okay. No big deal. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it was all in good fun. <clears throat> yeah, but all the collaborators did really great on that too, by the way. So I do have something for you guys that's still here. Um, if you want to, okay, when this is done rendering, come back to chat and leave a message, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a little contest between her and I. Uh-oh. Tell us which character you like better. Ooh. Either Detective Slow or Nancy Nose. Ooh. Leave that in the comment of this video after it's done rendering. Vote Nancy no say. <laughs> You're supposed to say or vote. vote. Detective, I am slow is the one you want to vote for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we made sure that we did not have us in the list of collaborators for the uh, which which uh, collaborator helped you the most. Uh, yeah, so this list. is our this is our chance. Yeah, it's, is it's it him or me? Him or me? Yeah, Nancy. Hey, I wrote Detective Slow. I wrote the story, so I had you arrested. So it's I true. Won there. He did. He what am I going to do with Nancy? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo! laughs> Timberheel, Redbone, Coonhounds. You know what? We love you guys too really look forward to our show you guys come in we have fun so next week uh on let's talk paranormal we're, we're going to be talking about the kennedy curse um so it's going to be a little bit more maybe intense getting back to some of our talks and discussions um we should have do that as a behind the haunting but we're not <laughs> <laughs> but we're not. We're not. So uh, just to, to kind of touch on that a little bit, we're also going to you know, have some links to some of our older videos out there. We actually did a video where we went down to Dealey Plaza and we recreated the Zapruder film. Yep. That video has been out there for a while. Um, 
we went up to the uh, Henry Ford Museum and actually saw the X, I think it's the X-10. Is it X-10? Something like that. The actual limousine that JFK was assassinated in. Oh. And uh, we did Type an interview. car again. Yeah. I was like, it's the car. We did an interview with a gentleman while we were down there in Dealey Plaza. It's called the interview behind the picket fence. Mm -hmm. And um, he was there the day of the assassination. So we'll have those links uh, in on next week's show if you guys want to catch those. If you're, like, into the Kennedy and JFK stuff. So November 3rd is actually the... Anniversary date of the assassination in mm -hmm. Dealey Plaza, which we were there, I don't remember what year, a while ago. Yeah, it's been a few years. Yeah. Yep. Budget Bushcraft says that uh, he has to go eat and watch two more Clue Tube videos. And uh, Tammy M says, I bet they end up together. <laughs> That's how I roll, says, they're a team like Cagney and Lacey, Crocker and Tubbs, or Gilligan and the Skipper. Do you think? I don't know. Do you think that she'll ever help him? I think she's just or a... Or you think she's just a gold digger? She's just a gold digger. That's real nibby. Mm -hmm. She's just too nibby. Mm. I don't know. You never know. You never know. I don't know if we it do seems Clue to, Tube again. It seems, to happen. Do, it seems to happen in a lot of, you know, movies. If we do Clue Tube again and bring them back in 2019, we'll have to bring those characters back. and We'll have to figure out a different crime, though. Donnelly yeah. Land has some crimes going on. Crime yeah. sprees, huh? Yeah. Mm. That's the hard part, figuring out the crime that so it's YouTube appropriate. YouTube friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know he was ironer. Yeah, he could have been. She just wanted to get some information. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if you guys ever noticed. Like, Hi, we're, Brian. We're like, well, I don't want to say 365, 24, 7, because we took the month of October kind of off and did fun stuff. Uh -huh. But the rest of the time during the year, it's normally the creepy, <laughs> you know, creepy creep videos. So this, this month we kind of took it off. And we did that purposely. We did? Yeah, we did. It's Do just like tell. with Dark Shadow Ghost Stories. We tell. really didn't put on events unless if we were doing somebody's Halloween party or our Halloween party or something like that at Halloween time because the stuff that we do is not made up. Right, stuff. and we don't want it to be taken. But we don't want it to be construed as that so yes. we kind of like steered away from i was going to do all kinds of halloween type videos and kind of stuff like that and then i got to thinking mm, you know halloween's going to come around again next year so True. um yeah we were going to do a recipe video we were going to do all kinds of stuff and you know got to leave stuff for next year so mm. just saying <laughs> You mean we can't do it all at one? No. <laughs> no, we can't. Okay. So, Brian Vlasich, thank you so much for coming and participating with us, by the way, in Clue Tube. That was really yeah, awesome. Yeah, Brian stepped up at the last yes. moment. And his video and was really, awesome, really, too. Really for as, for as late as we, we let him in the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brian and I was, was up late awesome. that, that night. And yes. we got it done and got it taken care of. Yeah. 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 So I really, really appreciate Thank you that. very much. That thank you to all that. of the creators who, who did participate. Oh, they were but, all awesome. But Brian, he, he got like this much time <laughs> to do yeah, his. Yeah, very little time at all. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm glad you thought it was fun, Brian. Let me check right. that. I didn't even check the health. We've been doing good. Yeah whole time yeah. I don't know all right so what else do you guys want to talk about today we asked you if you were um, gonna dress up for Halloween we got a couple of things um, I think she actually who said they were dressing up I missed that um, do you remember uh, I, I'm pretty sure they told Michael that he needed to dress up as Carl but he said Nancy no say <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and there was somebody else who said something too, but um, I think it was um, wasn't it Joy? She was going to wear a witch's hat and no makeup. 
Brian said it. He film edit filmed it and edited it in three and a half hours. Wow. <laughs> That's how I roll. Says I think the series should be pitched to Crime TV. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Comedy Central. <laughs> I don't know about Crime TV. The fun part about it was is like after the, maybe the first two or three videos, I mean, people started getting into it. You know what I mean? And that's what kind of like fueled those. Like, maybe we weren't going to do that many of them. No, we were only going to do what four or five. Yeah. And we ended up with like sixteen. <laughs> you know, and then we thought, okay, it'd be kind of cool to bring our moms into it. And that's where we got Mrs. Flanders, and and it was just like out of the blue. Like I'm coming up with those names. You know what yes. I mean? It's like. And then Penelope was my mom, and we actually let her. I pick had to. Her last I had to go name. back to the videos and write them down so that when we did the video again, <laughs> I said the same name. Yeah. That's why you saw me in some of those videos where I had that notepad. <laughs> That's why, because I've made those names. Like, even the, the uh, FBI agent, we did that. That was two takes. We right. had to do that one. Right. And, and you said a different said name it, both yeah, times. The second name, I'm like, I don't know what I called you, so I'll just make up a new one. Yeah. Yeah. I, do I, I don't even know that. what it is now. Neither do I. <laughs> That's terrible. I just call him the FBI agent in that one. And the 911 calls. Oh, man. I don't know. That just hit me out of the blue. That was hilarious. That was funny. And then Kay stopping in with that response that she put out on Facebook. And then I included yes. that. That one with, with uh, Happy, uh, Trails. Happy Trails where she called. She actually put that out on Facebook, the other one. And I saw that. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to incorporate that. And oh, it was just oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. Just the creativity and yeah. everything behind it, and putting yeah, so it all it, together. It, play, it, it was able to help play into uh, helping Detective Slow figure out what this whole like list of names was about. And the props. I think it worked. So Marianne well. was making props while we were doing the videos. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, do they have a forensics for dummies book? Does that thing exist? And she actually got one. We have one. I do have one now. Where she bought yeah. it off of eBay. Shocker. But yeah, uh, but she she made those covers that were in the video. And I just taped them to books that were in my classroom. <laughs> Crime scenes yep. for dummies. Or... Yep. Uh, yeah. There was a forensics for dummies and a, a criminology, criminology I think, for, for dummies, dummies is the one. So yeah. I, I I did purchase the crime scene or the forensics for dummies one, the real version. So that now exists as well. But the and book that, that hat, Nancy, the book that Nancy was reading, though she that one is actually one that I have that I that I had purchased before this, and I just hadn't used it for anything yet. Uh, the hat was actually from the dollar store. Yeah. And the badge is actually the badge that we use for Dark Shadow Ghost Tours as our security uh, that helps take the uh, yeah. the winners of our 50-50s When we, when we out. do these in, in front of large groups, one of the things that we do is a 50-50. And, and it's usually about 250 people at them. Yeah, so sometimes those 50-50 gets to like over $1,000. And so we have security there that helps walk people out to their car, <laughs> yeah. you know, just in case, because it's normally somebody who's not... Uh, you know, like an elderly person or something. So we have right. a couple big guys that wear the badges that walk them out to their car at night because right. right. it's, it's kind of late when they're over. Exactly, because so. it's usually ten, ten thirty bedtime. You know, people are leaving and yeah. I think our biggest fifty fifty was it, it got to be like twenty five hundred or something. Then you split yeah. that in half, yeah. and then what we do with the other half that somebody doesn't win that goes to pay. We split it up and pay the actors because mm -hmm. it's all. Um, Volunteer, they're not uh, part of the union. Yes, they're Actually, amateur. Yeah, they're, they're amateur. amateurs. Amateur so they can't actors, get paid so. a, a paycheck, but uh, they take tips. <laughs> a fifty-fifty is the tips, uh, yeah. and we do split that. We usually have eight characters in our in our plays, and yeah, we split that amongst them. Yes. So they are talking about how cool that was. Uh, Tammy M says that. ClueTube has been the most original thing that they've seen on YouTube. It's very cool, and we rock it. Uh, so thank you very much. And Brian says, that's so awesome. I loved all the creativity. Uh, and Michael Fair Jr. as Carl. <laughs> Maybe we could do one where actually they go to get married. No, we can't do the M word. 
We can't do the M word because we do that one that's the wedding reception and the groom doesn't make it. That's right. Yeah. That would be killing off Detective Slow. Though. We can't do that. Yeah, we can't do that. No, not at all. We Susan's creative. Thank you for stopping by tonight. Uh, you have to get going, but thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you guys yes. for stopping by. I think we're going to wrap it up. We're oh, at a minute. Oh, we got 10 more minutes. We're about minutes. an hour and a half. 10 minutes. We're going to wrap it up here in 10 minutes because I'm sure you guys have better things to do with your time. Yeah, they got to go us. figure out where Timothy Petalcoat is. That's right. So they can get entered for the, has the, clue for the Amazon been, gift cards and the gold. Has flakes. the clue tube link been dropping with uh, Nightbot? Yes, a couple of times I did see it. Okay. Uh, here it is again, though. <laughs> All righty. And funny enough, Nightbot it just said up. that. <laughs> so Nightbot and I did it. So the Patreon, too, um, you could follow us on Patreon. You don't have to be a paid uh, supporter on there. And um, once we get back into Season 2, we got to go back to Season 1 a little bit because there were some things where you said you were going to post. Uh, in discord and we kind of never did but some of our research links and stuff like that we're going to be posting them on the patreon page and you know just using that to kind of communicate and the, and the part that i like about it is is we post something it, it goes out it, it ties it into an email so they get notified via email when we post them mm -hmm. polly has just joined us polly how you doing buddy been have dropping you, a link on have my Have you videos. been drinking those warm waters? Drinking the warm waters? I hope he's not drinking the warm <laughs> waters over there. That'll make you hallucinate that salt water. Hey, you got a new I subscriber. Was, <laughs> I was uh, throwing a, a, a clue out there. It's not drinking warm waters. I know, but... I asked him if he was drinking those warm waters because his his clue was warm waters. I get it. And I he got it. a bottle of water. From so those who Timothy. those who are um, and I'm going to tweet this out, but those who are uh, participants in the in the clue tube, uh, you guys all follow us on Twitter. Um, we talked about it in our our chat group um, that Detective Slow is going to be tweeting stuff out. So if you see those, tweet tweet. How, how do you say that? Retweet. 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 Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Retweet. <laughs> he swims in the warm waters. Would we ever organize a Halloween ghost hunt? We have. We have. We have several. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. The um, one that we were talking about in the beginning about Hillview uh, actually started out as a Halloween party, and then that night we, we were the uh, lead investigator so to speak and we broke up into groups and actually did a ho uh, ghost hunting at hillview manor which mm -hmm. we did the hill con we had videos about that but right. that building we did mm -hmm. yes. we've done that several times actually mm -hmm. so yeah we've taken people to mansfield 50 people on a bus we've taken 50 people to hillview we've taken people to oh geez where's some of the other places uh, uh, J.C. Thompson East, Building. Yep. Um, Stagecoach Inn. The uh, one in uh, Rogers, the Rogers House. Yeah. Um, all three Doesn't of those. Exist anymore. All three of those have closed. The Rogers House actually got demolished. Um, so, yeah. Fun fact behind the scenes of my video. I filmed it first with the words have two instead of next two. Luckily, just spliced in the parts. Where I showed the words and re-recorded it. That's awesome. Would never have even known from your video. That's awesome. Yeah, some of the some of the creators when they got their words, they were probably going, "What does this mean?" <laughs> what? <laughs> because. Just two words out of a sentence really don't have much meaning. Yeah. You gotta have the rest of the parts. Well, it's more than a sentence. I guess it's a phrase. Well, it's a little bit. It's kind of like a, almost like a. It's several sentences, but yeah. Lazy seas, crazy life adventures. Hello from Texas. Still here, guys. Much love to the king and queen of Halloween. 
the king and queen of Halloween. To all you haunted folks. I don't <laughs> know about that. The king and queen of nothing. No, we have not been to Miss Molly's in Fort Worth. We've actually not been to Fort Worth for more than, what, just like a drive through We were in Dallas. We were in Dallas, but we didn't actually spend time in Fort Worth, though. No, we spent a week in Dallas. Right. And, we, and Houston, like, we've been to the airport and... The, a hotel. A hotel <laughs> because we missed the flight. But that's about it with yeah. the Texas stuff. Uh, we'll see what happens, you know. Yeah. But we did spend a week in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of places. I spent three days alone in Dealey Plaza. It was just, yeah. it's amazing. Every time I came out still, of my conference, I'm like, sweetie, where are you? He's like, I'm in Dealey Plaza. <laughs> yeah. It still amazes me how it looks just like it did in in '63. It's 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 unreal. Yeah. Except for the steam sign. Except for what? The steam sign. Yeah, that sign's gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Uh, so I'm assuming that Miss Molly's in Fort Worth is someplace we should check out and put on our list. Well, write it so down. I gotta write this down. <laughs> There's all kinds of notes here on the desk that we need to transcribe into one of them new notebooks that you bought at places True. we need to check out. <clears throat> yes. Well, everybody always has given us some really good tips, and we just have to, you know, yeah. get to those locations. Brian says he has the hook up there if we ever want to go. Next time we're in that Brian, area. you never yes. know what happens with us, man. We could... Only thing that we know is probably about well, we know that her conference we know a year in advance, but other than that, we never know where we might end up. Um, so November, we know we're going to be in San Diego, but we've known that for a while. Right. Next year, we're going to be. Next year, I think has changed. Um, it was supposed to be in Canada. But it is not listed as Canada anymore. They've changed that twice out of Canada. Mm -hmm. So I think we're having trouble getting the National Association of Biology teachers to get like <laughs> to visiting get to visiting privileges to Canada. I don't know what that's all about. Um, let's see if I can find where it's going to be at next time. I don't want the login. I just want the regular. I thought it was going to be in Maryland. I think that maybe it's Baltimore. Um, resources. They keep Events. changing that website. I know. Too. I hate it when it, I hate it when I link. hate it when people uh, change their websites and move stuff. <laughs> yeah, you, ne you can never find things. <laughs> I know, like everything that I was supposed to see. All right, so next year it's going to be in Chicago. The That's following right. year it's going to be in Baltimore, and then we'll be back in Atlanta again the following year. Twenty one. So it, I, it was either it was either twenty or twenty one. It was Atlanta supposed one. to be in. Um, Canada and I have changed it again so yeah that's the second time and I think it was in Pusha I think it was in Montreal and they've changed it now twice mm -hmm. how awesome would that be that would be so awesome but they have moved me again so that's how we get to travel in November even though we're in school mm -hmm. and then uh, we get well we have a month off together in the summer and we we normally travel then too, depending on money situation, because we work for a school. Uh, how far we can go, right? So, <clears throat> and that's how we've actually had the opportunity to travel around the different locations is because of the conference. Mm -hmm. And so, wherever so, the conference happens to land, we, we try find to find some place there in that area to go and hang out at the haunted or has except for our chicago trip in april that one was a special thing because of jeff mudget being there we yes marianne like i want to go to that and i'm like okay honey that you never ask i know and so, my principal said the same thing because yeah, you never he, asked i said to take uh, something i'd like to go. take a day off of work and he's like what <laughs> and i'm like i really don't want to go because it's during school but i really want to go meet him like how many times am i going to get the chance and he's <laughs> like Marianne, you never take off. This is like the first time you've ever asked me for a personal day yeah. in like 15 years. So go. I'm like, okay. So as far as our hunter travels goes, I mean, places that we've been, I mean, in 2016, 
on our summer vacation, we went on a cruise. Now, when it comes to haunted locations related to that cruise, we were in Miami for, what, two days before the cruise? So we hit um, maybe four or five locations in Miami mm-hmm. that have paranormal claims. Then we did the cruise. While we were on the cruise in San Juan, Puerto Rico, we actually went out and found the final resting place of Ponce de Leon, which mm-hmm. is awesome, and that church has paranormal claims. But there's two forts on uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, that those are locations that we're going to be covering that have paranormal claims. I like the city of San Juan. 2017, summer, well, then when we came back, we, we went down to Key West, and the uh, whole place down there is rocking with, with paranormal activity. And then uh, 2017, we did like a little road trip. We went up and down. We started in Harper's Ferry and went up and down through Virginia and following all those places. We have a video. Maybe we'll do that in November, too, the one about the, the presidents I've been wanting to do. Uh-huh. What are we, six or seven? I think it's six. We've been to the grave sites of six American presidents. Let's see if I can name them. Washington, Jefferson, Madison. Madison. Jeez. See, this is why I'm doing videos. I know it's six. JFK. Mm-hmm. Who else? Lincoln. Lincoln? Jeez. <laughs> and who's the other one? Uh, Garfield. Garfield. Yep. Garfield. So, Brian Vlasic was in uh, St. Louis last week, and I remember hearing that because he was talking about maybe trying to get together with um, Happy Trails Hiking while he was there, but their schedules weren't uh, a match. Uh, But he said that while he was there, he did a drive-by of the house that the exorcist uh, was inspired by. It is currently a private residence and you can't go there and explore it. Um, that is one place that we didn't make it to uh, when we were there. The list, it was on the list, but we ran out of time. There was a problem. You know, problem. that whole biology <laughs> pr- conference gets in the way and then my husband wasn't feeling quite so well. Yeah. and We had to transfer hotels. We had to transfer hotels. There was the a big convention going on. But we did make it to Limp Mansion yes. in St. Yeah. Louis when we were there. So... We have to do. We haven't done that one yet. Yes, but it. But that was on the list to go to. So, uh, to do the drive by. Where did you stay another... at when you were there, Brian? We stayed at uh, two hotels actually. We did. Uh, I forget the name of the first one because that was. I'm trying to block it out of my memory, but the second one we stayed at was the Union Station one, right. which was awesome. Yeah, that place is. They yelled at Mary for at taking me. pictures. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Brian, if you do go there, you have to use your cell phone only. You're not allowed to use a real camera yeah. without getting special dispensation <laughs> from the management ahead of time. Yeah. I literally got yelled at for using a regular camera. Moonrise Hotel. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where that's at. Mm, I don't know where that's at either. But, yeah. So, um... We there was another place too. I I didn't want to go to it because I'm not into that kind of stuff. But there's a museum in St. Louis too that has some haunted items in it and and some things from a, it's from a haunted building that they had kind of inc- uh, taken parts to it. Um, but I didn't want to go to that place because it wasn't. You didn't really, mention this to me. Yeah, I did, but you didn't. You weren't feeling well, so we didn't go. Oh. Uh, it was. J- it, I forget the name of it, but it was it's kind of like one of those places you go and you like do stuff like play around with this and twirl a ball here and roll oh, through a ball. One of you those know, yeah, one of those active like active science yeah, museums. Yeah, it, it, what, it wasn't a science museum, but it was another museum like that. It was I don't know. But yeah, those hands on museums they creep that you me out go a little to, bit. You kinda wanna take a shower in Purell when you come out of those. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan says he has stayed at the Union Station Hotel before. Yeah. I don't remember the name of that place. I I don't either. But, yeah. We took a day when we were in St. Louis and drove up to Springfield. Mm Mm-hmm. Went to see Lincoln's Tomb. Lincoln's Tomb, Lincoln's Lincoln's House, House. Lincoln's Law Office, Mm -hmm. the Capitol Building. 
Yeah, I was disappointed in the law office because it was supposed to be a museum. Yeah, it was closed. And it was listed online as being a museum that would be open while we were there. And it was closed. turned out it closed like a year or so before. <laughs> Went to the little t-shirt store next door and I'm like, do you know like when that place is open? And like, hey, it closed like over a year ago. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So we didn't get to go inside of it, but we got to hang out next to it. What's and that, in the window. What did Pusa say? Uh, we announced last night that we're doing something for our 4K. We slept again last night. We have This week has been a rough week, apparently, for us. We came home from work and went straight to bed like three times this week. Yeah. I don't know if you... So no, we I don't know who it. was we'll here the end of last it. week's live stream, but that spun off the stress. Yeah. It was at the end... Yeah, it's been a bad week. Yeah, it hasn't been a good week dealing with insurance companies and all that other stuff. Yeah. So, and getting Harvey in storage and, yeah. yeah Last so. night, we actually watched, believe it or not, we're not big horror f- movie fans. No. We and haven't saw a lot of them. No. So, we actually lost or watched the 2017 version of It last right. night and, and then we started watching the original started watching the original and fell asleep yeah that's basically how our big friday night was yeah yeah, yeah. and that started at like four o'clock so we were asleep by like six thirty. <laughs> so the push it did you guys hit 4k or is it something you're going to do for 4k if they hit it 4k says, congrats it's, man. well i think it said that they were doing something for hitting it but i don't know that they, did they hit it no, they're close. They're they're like this close, guys. <laughs> Very close. Yeah. If you don't know Pusher Studios, go check them out. If you don't know Pusher Studios, you know you need to go over and get involved in the so Blue we're gonna have to, community. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch and see uh, what we missed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brian Vlashes, what did we think of the new It? Well, we hadn't seen the original It, so we didn't really have anything to compare it to. Um, but uh, I, I have an opinion about it. Okay. Um, I think as far as editing the new one, mm-hmm. I think some of the scenes they, they drew out like a little too much. And and that's the case too with horror movies anyways. They kind of draw them out to get that shock factor on them. Mm-hmm. I think if they would have tightened up the editing a little bit, it would have been a little better. But Pennywise... In the new one compared to the old one, mm-hmm. wow, scary, creepier, creepy, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I know Tammy's Tammy says not horror movie fans. No, we're, no, we're not. We're not. We really don't like them. Now the ones yeah. like the ones that are based on like true events and that kind of stuff. You know, like the Conjuring's. Yeah. Yeah, We've I kind of like. Yeah, I, I like. But those, those ones, ones where better. you know they're they're made. Even though it, I know that some of it's faked, because yeah. you know it is a movie, it has to yeah. draw more, more people to visit. More people you to know. come buy tickets. But yeah. at least it has the basis in the fact Based that I like to look activity. and see what the uh, facts what's are. True, what's yeah, not, then yeah. I could do more research. I like that. But kind. those movies that you go to and they're like just they're just there to just to make you pee yourself. Not that big yeah. of, and we don't go to haunted houses either. Bye, TWG Seven. Thanks for coming. Have a good night. Yeah. Mer wishes. Mer wishes. There you go. <gasps> yeah, we don't go to haunted houses either. We did that once, and it was like, yeah, okay. We didn't. We didn't go to a haunted house. It was a haunted hayride. We went on a haunted hayride. There's Those places kind of freak me out a little bit, especially <laughs> the last time we went. The big thing was the people coming out with the chainsaws. And the other thing I was going through my head is that guy who's playing that part, if he just snapped one night and decided to put the chain in, <laughs> it'd be my luck. And I was there that night. Oh, dear. But, yeah. So I think yeah, Brian... Tim Curry, he did play that. He played that role kind of kind of creepy, messed up. Tim Curry was the one in the original one. Okay. Uh, I think Brian agreed with you on the... Uh film editing yeah it, there was just something with it that, that just seemed a little off i don't know i don't know i don't know what it was it was like i'd so, have to watch it again but there's something that in my head is like you know because we i watch videos like for editing cuts and that kind of thing so i'm learning 
but that one was I think it could have been edited a little bit better but okay well he says that he and his wife has started watching Haunted Hill House on Netflix and they got drawn in right away and it's getting more and more intense and they he, he seems to like it we started watching it and I thought it was okay but I fell asleep and he continued watching he didn't like it so much so I think you need to give it another try I think we need to finish watching it Everybody in the world. I know it, everyone says they like it. And I, I don't know. The second season, I'm like, what happened? I don't know. Maybe don't know. it flipped to a different video. I don't have to go back and give it another shot. All right, so push okay, it. Okay, so yeah. asking for a 60 second video, 720 or higher, in your style, with a intro about you message. And what Blue Wrench Group means, means to you us? Putting them all together. All right. Well, I gotta write those down. <laughs> He's gonna get his book out. <laughs> Make it my little book. Is there a um, due date? <laughs> Is there a due date, Pusha? Brian says it took two to three episodes to get him in on that haunted hill house. My sister really liked it. Um, all of our ghost hunting friends uh, that we had from a couple of the locations that we, you know, used to take a lot of people to, they all seemed to like it a lot. So I don't know. I think we need to give it another whirl. One week. Okay. One Guess week from yesterday. Doing. One week from yesterday. And can we submit that through, um, like, Google Drive? I could just post it in Google Drive, send you the link so you can download it. Do you watch the paranormal TV shows like My Haunted House? We have... Um, we haven't watched them in probably about two or three months, but we, we, we have watched those, the My Haunting and all those kind oh, of yeah. things. So Yeah. Destination America yeah. channel is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely will watch a lot of those. I, I like the ones, I'll tell you what, I really, really enjoy, and this is kind of like it would make sense with our channel. I like the ones where they go over the history, the history mm -hmm. of the locations and what happened and that kind of thing. Um, and then they do the ghost hunt, you know, um, the residential ones, the, the ghost shows about the residential. I do like watching those and I do take notes about them and I kind of like compare and those are like the binders and stuff that we have of reports, you know, and we, can place out the similarities and that kind of thing mm -hmm. and i'll be watching them like okay boom here's what their problem is boom this is probably what happened you know that kind of thing. blue wrench okay. group at gmail.com send it to blue wrench group at gmail.com she's gonna says that or they said uh that they're probably going to put out a video about it tonight are you going to go live tonight too pusha What was it? What Blue Wrench Group? Blue means? Wrench Group at gmail.com. Not sure. It's 15 minutes from your start time if you're going to do it. <laughs> uh, what about Haunted Live? Any opinions on that one? Haunted Live. I don't know that I've watched that one. Have you? Haunted Live. We have saw a couple. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Is that the name of the show? We have saw a couple... Um, shows where they've done paranormal guest investigations live and we've actually done them ourselves through dark shadow ghost tours mm -hmm. which but i think that's the name we're pretty show. awesome like it's we set up our dvrs and you guys can watch while we're doing an investigation but the last one that we did was a colossal failure because we didn't have cell service mm -hmm. that was at the lighthouse yeah fairport harbor mm -hmm. lighthouse and now i can't get our dvr to work so we go to do those again. I'm going to have to buy a new DVR and all that stuff. But Yes, because it doesn't work on the Windows 10. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right. 
So guess what? We went over at the 6.30 mark. Did we? I'm <laughs> of sorry. course we did. I was writing this down. Uh, it's on ten, on Travel Channel, uh, the Tennessee Wrath Rath- Rath- Chasers. Yes. Uh, we have seen a couple of theirs. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's okay. I figured it out. I knew what you meant. <laughs> All right. I think we got will your record list. these. We got, we got three. Three. I think we'll record them tomorrow and get them done. Okay. Yep. All right. Those are ones I could remember. Hopefully there aren't any others that people asked you to do. No, I think those are, <laughs> those are the ones. I know about the, these ones, though, so that good it means you at least told me about them yeah <laughs> all right i think we are going to wrap it up we want to thank you folks for joining us tonight coming over and having some fun and just sitting around and chatting here at the end and all that stuff um clue tube if you haven't watched them and submitted your thing we're running out of time deadline is tuesday 8 p.m to get your suggestions in there and we're going live Wednesday at 8 p.m. to do the reveal and draw the winners. Yes, and remember to enter the contest. There is a Google Form link in the description of the final Nancy No Say video. Yes, it's the second from the last one. Yes. And follow along on our Twitter. Detective Slow is going to be putting some stuff out. Mm-hmm. So. Alrighty, folks. Again, thank you very much. Until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. If you'd like to see more videos from Painted D videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for notifications. Also, help support the channel by sharing this video with your friends and family and anyone else who might be interested in the paranormal. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. <laughs>